Like you were saying, this is not the matchup that we expected. Yeah, definitely not. I mean, Fearfulness can definitely pick up his recovery a little One, more with Rob. Uh, Dark Pit, I mean, using those up airs, maybe even at least to uh, uh, ward Cyro away. He's also going to have a little bit easier time recovering. Uh, or, like you were saying, yeah, the recovery. But, of course, the ladder combo uh, isn't going to kill if Cyro is able to connect with him. But it might be a little easier to get the ladder combo in the first place. Did Pureflex expect that? I think he did. Because he was trying to set up and get like the additional damage from the, the Gyro. Gyro right? Oh, great. Drop down up there. Does not. Or Gyro did not expect that. Oh, Cyro. Is this Cyro? Cyro. I think it's Cyro. Oh, okay. I've been calling him Cyro. Yeah. When I called this match, it Cyro. He was fine. So. Oh, okay. <laughs> But again, something that Meta Knight does have trouble dealing with might be the projectile wall um, itself, along with the big wall of mirrors that has dropped the shout. It's actually like all the reads that Rob has now that I think about it. Because you think like his jabs longer, his F tilt is longer, the down tilts? Uh, about the same thing. Yeah, we might actually see Rob versus Roy if you're playing one of this. Big air connect. Wow. First hit, a shuttle loop connected, but not, nothing more. That was so smart because we reset the edge guard situation, but put Kirflax in a much worse situation. Here we see Gyro in Cyro's position. Oh! oh. <laughs> Got killed by the Gyro, dude! <laughs> Credit goes to the Gyro. Yeah. <laughs> okay, that gets the fair one. So good. Gonna get the drag down bear. Does not get the tech chase though. I think Rob might bounce a little weird, so you gotta mix up your timing. And that's another reason why I was expecting, or why I think that Kiraflex went Rob. Ooh, stalling out at the bottom, making it difficult to tell when he's gonna go back up. How long can he stall down yeah. there though? How much batteries he got? Did you got Duracells in there? Yeah, he's definitely running on diesel, so, you know, that gas is expensive. Oh yeah. <laughs> throw? Oh, goes for the down throw. He's not elegant, so <laughs> you can probably go for that now. <laughs> that, that that down throw is supposed to be like the easiest grounded move to match out of though. Oh, so I feel really like good. he still could have gotten out of that. He just, I don't know, maybe committed it to death. Oh, it's very true. Yeah, probably just dying. It's my time. <laughs> Everybody's got a time. <laughs> That's true. Oh, I like the dimensional cape to just weave around the gyro, but it is good fun. We see another grounded down air or down throw. Yeah, he found himself in such a precarious situation in between Rob's gyro and Rob, right? You don't want to be there. Exactly. Kiraflex is so good at setting up with the down tilt. I mean, we saw exactly what he did uh, to his previous opponent over in winner's uh, quarters. Exactly. Right now, Kiraflex is stalling out on the ledge. What punishes is he going to get? Actually, Kiraflex is able to roll away. Right. In those positions, you know, you really expect Meta Knight to be throwing out, like, reverse shuttle loop. Yeah, or dash attacks at least, right? Or something. But, I mean, that was such an unexpected option. Right? Yeah. Ooh, great cape and somehow killed. Maybe that crossed up his DI low. He was one for back air. Yeah, even, even without the, I think the dimensional cape is just a strong move in general. Very true. I think he's almost at full rage, but we can get another down throw. Oh, smash. Great mash from Cairo, or Cyro this time. Another one, though. Just go for the guaranteed. That's right. I mean, why, why fish? Yeah, I, mean, I can just win. Why fish when I can just go to the market? Get the guaranteed. Oh, so true. Okay, well, now we see a couple of up airs, but the Cairo going to interrupt. Look at this defensive play coming out from Kiraflex. Constantly rolling back, forcing Cyro to approach just a little bit further. I now, love the chase, though. There it is. He was able to make some recovery with side B and actually get out of the pressure. Man, Kiraflex is playing on point right now. Right, up till, to up there from the down air. He should get him just to get the gyro off the ledge. That was so smart, dude. But it does force him to commit to that option. As soon as he yeah. connects to the gyro, Pureflux was there with the punish. And it, it kind of extended together too, right? Exactly. Goes for the back air, just to stay safe. That move is so good because not only does it kill, and not only does it keep his spaces for you, and Kiraflax almost gets it up to up air. Yeah, but just a little bit too of a high percent where that uh, conversion isn't going to work. And gyro air, barely able to hang on to his stock. And what we're seeing right now again is this gyro being near the ledge. Uh, just stopping Cyro from uh, doing what he wants when he wants to uh, reset neutral. Even right there, he got the drown, the drag down forward air into Nair, but the drop of Cyro actually interrupted. Yeah, it's allowed to get a you know, even though he was in a recovery situation, able to take it one still. Exactly. Airflex right now, trying to get this Wednesday night fight, moving up, trying to move on to winners finals against Charlie, but I mean. 
that game wasn't too far off. I mean, would you switch in this situation as Cyro? No, no, because yeah. it was close. It yeah, was, it was close. very close. I mean, at this point, I think the Cyro's just going to try to adjust to what Kiraflex is doing and just the, his defensive play yeah, and his exactly. defensive habits. Yep. Okay, so running it back to Pokemon Stadium. This is the seventh or eighth game we've been here <laughs> in a row. You know what? The music is just too great. Ooh, okay, so we do. The vintage. Yo, so, I do remember him speaking about this on Monday, that for characters who do throw out a lot of projectiles, he will go Falco just for the reflector. Yep, it's frame one, pretty much, the shine. And it does last a long time. And this... Um, I remember in Smash 4, Kitaro says Rob versus Falco was free for Falco. Oh, really? And then, yeah, then he beat Mr. Eric right for saying it. So, I mean, okay. and he has a point. Uh, the combo game is great for Falco in this matchup, but how do you get past the small projectiles and wall and these big hitboxes? Okay, I'm pretty sure multiple air dodges helped him in Smash 4, but now that you only have Zaxxus to 1, you're really going to have to rely on that reflector. But wow, wow the this bounce. reflector is good! <laughs> the bounce, and there's another one! Yo! Kiraflex had to dodge everything, dude. And you know Cyro was scouting out like for that one air dodge that Kiraflex was going to use and then just being there to punish. And we're going to see oh, another no. down throw. Good match from Cyro, though. Okay, so that's actually something else that will help out uh, Falco in this matchup. When he uses his second jump from the match, and since he has such a high jump, he's just gone. Exactly. Yeah, he goes so high in the air. This is going to be a huge punish from Cyro. Yup. Does not even need to worry about the cross up. You can just up smash out of shield. Dude. Must be nice. Yeah, <laughs> the back, the back hit will kill you. He has so much momentum from flipping. <laughs> just smashes you. Okay, Great stalling small. out in the air, but it does get caught by the anti air and a couple more up airs to connect. Yeah, Robin's air mobility is not that great to where Cyro has to kind of really think about where to juggle or to stand. Not to mention, like, Falco's up tilt is, covers a lot of space. It yeah. even covers, like, the side. You see, like, the way the slash is? And it converts to so much. There's the up air. Okay, a couple of down tilts connecting. Ooh, converting. Wow. Even getting the trip, but, oh, the nair gets blocked. There's the, the second jump from Falco that you were talking about. He, he can use it in a defensive way and also an offensive way uh, after the off throw. Okay, rolling around. Just, I like that. Kiraflex like just, as soon as Zyro like, uh, rolled away, he just went, he already knew what the game plan was. Reset and then start put out the gyro again, put out lasers. So Zyro almost got the drag down there. That does confirm in the down tilt. Um, if, if the opponent, wow. Yeah, just a little bit too too much stalling from Kiraflex. It does, you know, have a gas tank. Yeah. Will eventually run out. Running on me right now. And something that Cyro did earlier uh, that showed why this matchup may be really good for Falco is that on the ground, the gyro was right in front of him. He didn't have to worry about it. He just shined it, and it's his now. <laughs> That's true. Yeah. No reason to uh, even play with the gyro or... Yeah, it, it, it becomes Kiraflex's obstacle now, right? Like exactly. You, you don't even have to throw it. Oh, did you see that wall jump to Plaster? Yo, dude, he is silent right now with this Falco. He is going airborne. You see, just a single laser, but it just forces Kiraflex to burn his jump. Oh, wow, the net is not going to kill? Bro, I've seen it all, man. Falco. Oh, that Nair does look like Rob side me, though. <laughs> like, <laughs> yeah, he's just swinging at him. It's <laughs> you almost, do you ever watch The Simpsons? No, dude, what's oh, up? Oh, there was an episode of The Simpsons where, like, Lisa and Bart are fighting. And <laughs> she starts kicking. He's like, and I'm just going to do this. And if you get hit, it's your fault. And then Bart's, like, swinging his arms. And he's like, all right, well, I'm going to do this. And if you get hit, it's your fault. That's exactly, exactly what that was right there. <laughs> they were just swinging at each other with all, the spin, with all their spins. Dude, in Smash 4, if you had a spinning move, you were a good character. I mean, this this game, if you have a good Nair, you're a good character, right? Oh, this game, you need, you need a Nair. You need a back. You need a... Back air out of shield. Back air, shield. I mean, it looks like you need spinning moves too, man. That's true. I mean, you know, throw conversions don't help either. Or they do help a lot, actually. Yeah. They, that'll definitely bump you up on the tier list a little bit. Being able to kill at 30 definitely <laughs> help you, right? Every, like, top tier. I mean, whoa, whoa. He settles, man. <laughs> oh, <I> Pichu. <laughs> Wolf. Three, two, the, the princesses. The princesses. 
Peach Daisy. Oh, it looks. <laughs> Care Flags are just standing there waiting for what uh, Sire will do. Care Flags like always tripping me up because I can never tell if it's like, oh, are they doing a button check? Because you know, he literally just stands there and just waits to see what his opponent does. Very patient player, and we got the pit coming on deck. This is the first time we're seeing the pit tonight. Uh, at least for us. Is it? Yeah, he didn't go. Uh, he went all Rob against. No, I think he went pit against Elegant. No, I'm pretty sure it was all Rob. <laughs> oh, no, you're right, you're right, you're right. You're right. Oh, wow, great conversion off the down air. Um, Pit got a few more tools in these games. Not, not as basic as before, but I'm still one of those like bread and butter kind of solid characters. But that arrow right now, great at cheesing people. That's right, he, he's like a master sniper when it comes to that arrow. Exactly, dude. He make a great uh, Apex Legend. I'm sure he plays. I'm sure he plays. <laughs> I'm sure he's out With there, the, the amount of arrows that he throws out, oh, very unfortunate. That is a really difficult angle to hit, though. Yeah. It's not just one of those notches in the game. Right, you gotta be able to angle it. But it's able to pick up the stock and bring the percents even again. And there you go, man, spinning that, that bowl around. Down throw into down air. Yup, that was a conversion. Wow, yeah. that looks much more. That was clean. I mean, he's so familiar with this character, right? He stuck it out through all the time for like, He's been playing, I think he's been playing Pit since, like, for all? came out. Yes. No way, dude. So he's, cool. he's seen some things. He's been through some stuff. <laughs> yeah, dude, he's seen it all. He's definitely a veteran, dude. He's so passionate about this game. He's using another arrows and just sort of baiting Cyro into a boat. You know what's tough? These arrows are a lot harder to react to than Rob's gyro, so I mean, using that shine um, is pretty difficult in this matchup, it looks like. That's right. And even then, like, these arrows are such a mundane projectile that, like, you know, is it even worth being to shine? Oh, I guess it is. <laughs> no, I guess it is. It's, they're annoying enough to use it, apparently. <laughs> yeah. Ooh, but he's pit. Yeah, he's gonna be able to make it back. But it, was just, it, it was just wondering if Cyro was going to be able to throw out another down air. Yeah, or if he was gonna be able to make it to the ledge fast enough to uh, uh, intercept the up B, but I guess not. You have to wait for that Firebird to go out. Okay, what's the ledge trap gonna be? Cyro Kiraflex taking his time from getting off the ledge. He's so patient, dude. He's not afraid, dude. Oh, he went for the footstool. Yeah, he got the pseudo footstool, though. Wow, just spaces around that get-up attack. I'm surprised that the up tilt into back air didn't connect. Yeah, and that's a great confirm from Falco. Mm -hmm. yeah. as, as one of those characters that um, are definitely not as privileged as the others, you do have to capitalize on all the confirms. And he just calls out the regular get-up or jump, actually, with that jab. And rapid jabs with the ledge are so good just because he doesn't push your opponent off stage. So you can just like hold the button longer yeah. and just make sure they take even more percent. Exactly. Okay, a couple back airs. And this patience from Kiraflex. Dude, he knows the spacing. He's seen Falco, dude. He's played ball. <laughs> I'll go for the rapid jump again. Uh, Cyro, though, right on top of it. And sniping with a couple of arrows. <laughs> wow, the Falcon special? That's Pits now, dude. Yep. It definitely belongs to Pits because uh, Raptor Boost is not killing move anymore. <laughs> but it also, man. like, that the side B from just regular pit launches them up. Yeah, exactly. Not like dark pit. But it's I mean, also the pullback that's so like jarring, right? And the armor. And the arm oh and the armor. As if don't, it couldn't get any better. Don't dude. forget about the armor. <laughs> if he hits on shield he bounces right off, right? Just go for another one, man. Why not? That's right. But right now, uh Cyro deciding where to play. Of course, it's going to be Cyro's pick, and I think I believe that puts uh, Kiraflex at two-one uh, in this set. Yep. This now, is a counterpick war, dude. It is, yep. and it's really going to come down to it. So now that is Kiraflex going to commit to playing Pit in Game Four? Because if he goes Pit, we may see Roy come out. Yeah. If he goes back to Rob, he's going to stick with Falco. Oh. We already saw how much trouble Kiraflex had when he picked Rob. Yeah. Is the Mennonite Knight off the table then? I think the better Knight's off the table. Oh, he didn't even ban you, dude. <laughs> Those are the bans. <laughs> Yo, dude, this Yo is patient, bad. patient mentality in and out of game. <laughs> yeah. He was just stalling on the ledge this whole time, dude. Some say he's still hanging there. <laughs> okay, so here's the moment of truth. We see Dark Pit dark come pit. out. Interesting pick with Dark Pit. 
Yeah, there it is. There's Roy. You know why? Because he can launch Roy to, to the horizontally, right? With the side B. Easier yeah. to get. He, he, yeah, that is true. Uh, but you think the arrows would have helped in this matchup? Yes, just because it would have been easier to get. <laughs> yeah. But you know what? Kiraflax knows something we don't know. He's definitely the pit master, dude. This man got the dankest pits. No deodorant, man. Like, yeah, the Nair is, is going to be a really strong move for Kiraflex. I mean, we're going to see his defensive play really come into uh, Clutch as well. A lot of shooting coming out from Kiraflex as well. Oh man, Cairo got to find a way to weave between these four airs and Nairs. Somehow whip punch them. They're so safe and so spaced well, dude. Just the jab, though. That's going to be a lot. No. Oh, this might be. Oh, this is gonna be a big yeah, punish. Yeah, huge. And these aerials were all sweet spotted. Oh, we'll get the Nair one. He just doesn't get the, the jab. Yeah, that's what you're really looking for is uh, Roy, right? The, the jab in the back air. Maybe even some down throws too. I mean, just jab in general, because you can convert like into almost anything. Yeah, from jab. And you want a stale jab. Oh, yeah, you do. Yeah. Easy combos. Oh, no, not close enough. That's that horrible Roy recovery. Yeah, you thought Tom had a bad recovery, dude? Or just, uh, just as bad as Tom's recovery. That drop, that falling back air will get a little bit of damage. Great get up attack from Cyro. Uh, Shareflax got adjust to that, that range now. It's better than Falco get up attack range. I like the use of the, uh, the cross up, right? Yeah, the cross up, the eruption. I'm gonna go off for the back air. Okay, goes for the up B instead. I respect that. It's a little bit harder to take the multi hit of the up B rather than just like the strong back air. It also sets up for like, the Trump situation too. So, uh, added pressure, different layers to the guard. We also see Cyro making use of the, the like sliding uh, F tilt. So good at moving around with Roy, but Kira right now. Just chasing Cyro. Something that I noticed when he was playing Rob is so good at like catching Cyro trading. Right, up B out of shield, field. but not enough to take the stock. Battlefield, dude. I mean, it might be time to start using the back air for these linear recoveries that Kiraflex is using. Yeah. He gets the up tilt. Great with punish. Yeah, up tilt. I mean, all the tilts really are strong. Yeah. Oh great, I love the, the up variant, right? So that's a juggle. That's right. Oh, jab into F smash. Kiraflex was right on top of him, but the directional air dodge to the ground. Oh, and there it goes! He sent Roy so far! Oh, we need snipe him, he's dead. That's what we were, he was looking for, man. We were talking about the arrows earlier, dude. He doesn't need the, the angles, right? He just go right down there. So I think you're right, he went dark hit just so he could use the side B to get Cyro off stage. That was insane. Okay. There, there's a good conversion coming out of Cyro. We gotta sell the jab into the aerials. Caught the jump, and I mean, you know, pit players, right? They're not gonna air dodge. They have so many jumps. You know, why not go for a jump? That's right. We have all the resources. Why not use them? Man, the pivot cancel F tilt, but does not get the kill somehow. Like the saying in shield. Um, Really difficult to tell if uh, hits are going to go above the ledge. Yeah. And Kirby is so good at mixing up with the on the ledge. Sometimes he does nothing yeah. too, right? Yeah. He will go for the the, the play and just stand there. Again, go for the side B and yeah. Both of you just running at each other, or are you gonna win then? <laughs> Especially if they're both swinging. <laughs> yeah. Okay, but you know, I was able to bring it back last stock. Yeah, the, the damage output in this game is so good, and Roy's combo game is so great that comebacks are very viable, and very easy to get. Man, already at 42, halfway there. These percents, when especially with Cyro being so aggressive, you gotta look for the cure flex to start. You know, he wants to pull the trigger on that side B. It's really what you want to force, and then you just get the heavy punish. But a falling forward air for cure flex. It's the walk away though. Oh, big punish. Oh, the tech from the platform! Wow. Such a heads up play from Kiraflex. I mean, that should have been a guaranteed back air for Cyro. Mm -hmm. oh, going again. Does not get the back air, though. Electro shot. Okay, there's oh, the side B. Gets him to ledge. 
What's that option gonna be? This is huge. Cyro so patient right now. Can get that F-Tilt, but Purify is punching it out with the dash attack. Right, he knows that if he f tilt shield, that it could be the game. Oh, almost gets a Cure Flex space so well, though. Just a few steps away. That's right. Nair from Cure Flex will beat out the f snap from Cyro. But oh. another sliding F-Tilt. Catches the retreat, and it is 2-2. Two -two and it's counter pick war. Are we finally going to see Rob versus Roy? I think. <laughs> you know what? <laughs> if it's going to happen, it's going to happen right now. But it's really what Cyro thinks Cure Flex is going to be. It's really that. You know, oh, yeah. it comes down to rock, paper, scissors. He's trying to read what Kiraflex is going to use. Exactly. And now that we're going to Battlefield, I think the choice has become a little bit more limited. He's probably going to go uh, Rob or Pit. Oh, going straight to the Pit. Now he's been waiting for Cyro to pick his character. Yo, this is Cyro just the next one. <laughs> <laughs> Not going to go Roy. Um, definitely checking the game with the Pit or off the Pit. And let's, I mean, just thinking back to game four, Kiraflex what, did have control of that game for a majority of, of the time. Yeah, but now that that arrow gimmick is almost off the table, right? Cyro is definitely expecting it. Oh my god, the big damage. Especially yeah. from the ledge, getting 40%. Okay, that traps in. Kiraflex is favoring another Nair. The dash attack not going to connect. Oh man, gets the DI in with the Nair, and yep. Um, it's gonna be a little hard to get Cairo with, or Cyro with that. Now that he's expecting it. Yeah, Cyro just keeps getting put in this ledge. I like the eruption coming from Cyro. Uh, neutral B from Roy has really low recovery, so sometimes you just act like a bait even if it doesn't connect. Especially if you wave bounce it, the visual itself will make you want to drop your way. Getting the parry, but jabbing the incorrect direction. Man, Kirifax is so good at respecting these four tilts, but gets hit with the X-Man. Right. troubles. But he's still able to uh, live. That's the most important part. He can land those big attacks, but if he doesn't take the stock, it doesn't really uh, matter outside of damage. And there's a chase with the dash attack, or gets the mistech with the dash attack. Rather, and these two are so aggressive off the ledge right now. Look at the sniping with the arrow. Cyro was ready with the eruption just to set up a, a ledge trap. Instead, he got knocked across the entire stage because he got sniped. Yeah, man. You can see another, another F tilt. Oh, he gets shot is. with an arrow. Wow, what a commitment. And Kirflax patiently, you know, he waited for, for Cyro to land to get that point. Wow, that, F, that forward air almost uh, sent Kirflax far away, even though it sounded like it was a sour spot. And you hate to see that happen with the sour spot back here. Did call out the jumper, and did not get killed. Got a quarter. Must be so slow by now, too. Usually, Roy's want to scale out the forward air just because it's a great combo move. But we're gonna see enough, bro. Wow, even on Battlefield, not enough. No sparks either, dude. Yeah, no sparks because no rage. Okay, let's see what Cyrus got up to. Oh, oh my goodness. I can't even talk right now. The pure black is just going in. Right, couple in there, but it upbeat. Ooh, wow, that oh, set him so high! The sour spot again! That's... That's a I mean, that's what you pay for, man. You get these great sweet spots, but when you miss them, it's gonna be a lot. And yeah, that's good. And I was actually wondering why he didn't just go for the up B out of the parry last time. Oh, I mean, maybe he's, he's being a little more conservative, especially because that's why he lost his first off. That's true, but it was out of a parry, so it should have been like, yeah. easy to land. But regardless, you know, he got, he was able to take care of Flex's stock. Now getting put in these ledge situations over and over again. Yeah, man, Kirifax is such a veteran. He's so good at the ledge. He's patient, but look at him, dude. Oh, man. With those uh, with a couple attacks, uh, Cyro the roll to the center of the stage. And this matchup looks kind of tough for, for Roy, dude. He's getting outranged, and those arrows are so good at interrupting his dad. But it's just as soon as he gets in Kirifax's face, that's yeah. when it's no time. Said last game, something that we have to look out for is that side game. Both these players have been going so aggressive when they're on the ledge, just like that with the quarter. Any moment right now, uh, Kirifax can pop that side beat and just catch that Cyro swinging or doing any, any option other than shield. Oh, and gets the S smash! I mean, I respect the option. He went, he had the parry. Really should have been a, you know, an easy F smash to land, but I think because of the landing lag, you just allowed here to pull up shields just a little bit sooner. Mm -hmm. Exactly. Okay. 
Pyroblex does not budge him for this pressure. Yeah, he looks like he's almost fishing for, for parries. Yeah, exactly. He's definitely showing Cyro that he's not afraid. Of, like all these jumps in front of this dude. Okay, great stop! Just the back air does not get the kill though. That's right, no tech for, for Pyroflex that time. Oh, these jumping warriors off the ledge. Cyro so much. That's a great option that Pyroflex is using. Oh, he threw out the back air because he saw the air dodge. But unfortunately, the platform interrupted him. And Cyro, now again, is being forced to recover over and over and over. Jab, it's a back air. Still works, man. Okay, we're seeing similar percents that we saw in game four. Man, but now it looks like Pyroflex knows what to do on the ledge. When Cyro's on the ledge, right? Yeah, he's definitely playing more defensive and patient here in game five because you know there is a lot on the line. Yeah. Ooh. This is for winning finals. And wow, it's two sour spots in a row, but it doesn't matter, he still has control of the stage. Way to punch that dash attack perfectly. Right. Oh, and I like that baiting out the side beat. Looks like he was gonna drop down forward air. Instead just retreating back to the ledge. And now striking Pure Flex's landings from these platforms. Yeah, and we're seeing a turnaround. Pure Flax was playing very defensive on the ledge. Uh, he, he was very confident, but now Cyro giving him something to react to. Harry, and then approaching with the Nair. Okay, going for the side, for the upbeat. Trying to get the multi-hit to catch the recovery. There is the forward air again. That move is pretty hard to parry. I feel like that's what Cyro was trying to go for. Oh, oh they trade. Oh, man, this is intense right now. Gets the dash attack, goes for the arrow. And drops down for a low recovery. Pureflex looking for the option. I was going to say, we haven't seen a fourth throw kill lately. Or at all, actually. You can see a back throw. Oh, the mash from Cyro able to escape. That was so clutch. Oh, and they were both. Oh, no! The forward throw. throw. Pretty useless jump to stay in the game. Oh, the option the side B. That was so brave. You know, both these players looking for their one conversion. Looking for just the option. But the uh, falling back air uh, will poke. It will poke. And... And Cyro able to touch it out. Makes it into winners finals, man. That just the mix up of the timing of that back air, right? Usually went for like more fastball back airs or even just like Or uh, you go for Nair one. Yeah, Nair one, right? But in that position, that almost looked like he was gonna go for a tomahawk yeah, empty or an empty hop. Yeah. But pulling the trigger at the last second and able to clear.